see how much child is involved in this. Uh, it's very tragic, especially in this case, you know, where it was a self-inflicted uh, wound by a four-year-old. That's, that's just as tragic as it gets. We're covering Hale County Greensboro police investigating a deadly shooting involving a four-year-old child. Police calling the shooting a tragic accident. It happened Sunday night. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed in Hale County where police are investigating. This is the house where the shooting happened. According to police, the four-year-old victim found a loaded gun inside the house and accidentally shot and killed himself. Some residents living in this neighborhood tell us they are heartbroken and sad about what happened. Very sad. It's sad. It's really sad. It even saddened my heart, you know, just to even hear about it. Greensboro resident Patricia Clinton and her husband run a produce stand right down the road from where a four-year-old shot and killed himself after playing with a loaded gun. Clinton is sad but wants to know how this accident could happen. My thoughts is that maybe the gun should have been in a safe, to pla safe place. That's my thought. It should have been a safe place. Investigators tell CBS 42 News the accidental shooting happened 1130 Sunday night inside this house on Balsa Avenue off Highway 69. Police say the child found the weapon and pulled the trigger. The victim was later pronounced dead at Hale County Hospital. It's a huge blow to the community uh, for a child of this age uh, to, lose, to lose his life uh, in such a manner. Um, our hearts and our, our, hearts and our prayers uh, certainly uh, go out to the family. Greensboro police say they encourage all legal gun owners to take gun safety classes. They also recommend that gun owners use gun locks and gun safes to store weapons safely away from children. Don't store away a loaded gun. Number two, always use gun locks or there's a lot of, uh, gun, there are a lot of different uh, type of gun safety equipment like gun locks, gun safes. Um, also, we here at the police department also have free gun locks that we give away to all legal gun owners. Police tell us at this point, the parents of the four-year-old child are not facing any charges. In Greensboro, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.